Hello, 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 and welcome back to what is technically part 19, I suppose. Horrify by Renda Exa. We have beaten the map, technically. We have all the uh, main objectives on the monument up there. So we've just got a few little bits and pieces left I want to do. The itinerary is head back over to the final area, go down to the bottom of that area, because there was a whole bunch of stuff down there, which I never finished. We've got two missing discs. We know where they both are. We just actually have to solve the puzzles for them. And then a little fly around in spectator mode and see if we can see anything interesting. Um, slash just talk about the map a little bit. So um, that is the plan. I'm not sure how long all of this will take. It may end up being a little bit shorter than uh, usual. But I don't think there is too much problem with that. It is, uh, it has been quite a long string of quite lengthy uh, streams. And I could do with something slightly more calming. Half a day's break just to kind of do my own thing and wrap up stuff, I don't think is going to make anyone complain too much. Chaos Draft is next on the list of things to do. But I also don't like leaving things unfinished, so let's try and 100% this thing first. Here is restocked and re-equipped. I have this chest plate. Which I just made out of the 40 levels I brought back to base. And the uh, extreme amount of excess books which I still possess. I can never find my way up here again properly. Why do I keep going in this direction? There's no proper stairwell here. There we go. Now there is. Do do. Running all the way back here also gives me a chance to uh, play this disc, which we haven't heard the entirety of before. But a few discs. Which, um, Never actually got played in full on the stream. But oh well, there's, um, there's one reason for you to play the map yourself, I guess. If you have not already done so. You get to hear all the lovely music that comes with it. Okay. So I am headed down there, for no real reason other than I want to know what is down there. I think that is as good a reason as any, really. The thrill of it! The area exists, so why not see if there's anything down there of any value? It does seem like a weird thing to make if there's no reason at all to ever go down there. So could be there be a secret objective? Who knows? I intend to find out. After whacking this guy a dozen times. Yes, you are very tanky, out the way. What do we do about this one now, then? That! We can actually reach it from the bridge. Good stuff. Another one spawned all the way down there, though. Some of those floating around. Where did you go? I do not know. You are over there. Now I know. 
Yeah, I didn't notice that exposed command block last time. Actually, looking at it a little bit closer up, I am fairly certain it is not supposed to be there. Because we've seen a few of these other little platforms that look exactly the same, but do not have that exposed command block. So I think it's a case of someone put that down, by someone I mean render, um, in order to get the uh, shulker box over there, and then forgot to remove it. We can have a look once we've uh, finished doing all the uh, last survival mode bits I want to do. We can have a look at that during our spectator fly around and see if there's... Uh, see what command is inside of that block and whether it is something along the lines of spawn shulker at location tilde, tilde minus two tilde. I suspect it is something very, very much like that. Hey, Piggy. Hey, Piggy. Okay, how many things are gonna fall on my head from up here? Because some of them are already doing so. Yeah. There are things up here. And they have bows. Yes, you can hit me, you can hit yourself with the thorns. Good job. Off the ledge with you. Splash! Let's get out of there. Let's not die. It doesn't really matter anymore if we do, but, um... Let's try uh, and avoid that anyway. This is not going to do a thing to you because you have knockback resistance. Okay. Off with you. Let's just ignore that ledge up there and not engage with it any further. There is no need to, I do not think there is going to be anything at all up there, and even if there is, it doesn't matter anymore. I did want you to move off the ledge, though. Did he fall off? I think he just randomly fell off. That'll do. Yeah, this path... This path actually does lead all the way down to the bottom. Which further makes me think there's something actually down there. Off the ledge! Hello! Another one with an axe. Goodbye, another one with an axe. Break that one. Any cave spiders on this uh, platform? Or is it just magma cubes? I think it might just be a magma cube spawner. Which is still fairly dangerous, actually. Even just the single magma cube spawner is not to be taken lightly, because they spawn a whole bunch of them. And they do a reasonable amount of damage each. And, because they're nether mobs, they're not shut down by light either. So where is it? Where are you? Spawner. Oh, 
It's obviously difficult to find it with all of these uh, giving off their particles. And there's more than one of them. Entire little mini fun box of magma cube spawners. Cease, desist, and cease and desist, and desist and cease. And desist. And stop it, basically. What's the difference between cysting and deceasing? Why do people say both? They mean the same thing. Are they not just completely synonyms of each other? Okay, nothing there. And the only place this goes to is... Uh, there is a chest. There is definitely a chest. Um, okay. So there is, there is a something over here. There is a something. And there's a whole bunch of magma cubes in the way. Okay. This chest has to be something extremely amazing to be worth it. Seeing as the objective is right the way in the other direction, and it's the final objective. So you're not gonna need whatever is in this chest for anything else at all. Get out of there. Let's just turn everything to obsidian. Who even cares anymore? Let's just do it. All of this stuff is in the way. Well, they all are all going to blow it up, so... Blaze is the most dangerous thing around. Off you go. This could be bad. With so many of these hopping around. Get out of here. Yeah, the drawback to making all of this obsidian is now these guys can jump back up onto these bridges. And I have to actually fight them rather than leaving them all down in the lava. Okay. Okay, alright. Aside from a large amount of spawners. What is actually up here? And how not worth it is it? Extremely. This is fine. Don't do that. Give me the water. How wrecked is the armor? Quite, quite wrecked from that. Do not bathe in lava. That's... 
Yeah. Uh huh. Well. Hmm. Well. Hmm. Render definitely knew what that whatever item was in that chest wouldn't be worth it. So. He just put a completely, totally and utterly worthless one in there. As a, um... How hilarious. Troll-a-lol-a-lol. <sighs> that was a, um... Incredibly pointless venture, and I didn't even get an achievement for it. Ho oh, hum, whatever, it matters not in the slightest. I just wanted to know what was down there. Would have been, um. much worse if he went down there before you got all the objectives on the monument and uh, died. And that would make fighting all the way back up to the top where the actual objective actually is slightly trickier. Anyway. It really matters not, and what armor we put on really matters not as well, because we have nothing left to fight. Just a couple of puzzles left to solve, and I want to make sure that we don't encounter too many issues getting back over to those puzzles. That is the only reason why I am grabbing anything at all. So we've got a what block is this riddle, and we've got the maze of who the heck knows how to solve it. Which order should we even go to these things in? Uh, that'll do. Torches we shouldn't even need. Shouldn't even really need anything else. Bring these two shields together, that will do in there. Okay. Um, let's dump another one of these um, music tracks on again. And about this one. This one sounds good. Okay. Some thinking music for thinking. So, we have to figure out which block that riddle over there is pointing to, and we have to figure out the maze is full of symbols. And these are the only two things left to do in the entire map. 100% minus these few advancements, which I do not care enough about, and will never happen. Okay. I've been wondering what this is since I found it ages and ages and ages ago. It could just be cobblestone, I guess, or stone. Just regular old stone. Let's make a whole list of things it could be, and then bring them all down there at once, so we don't have to keep making trips back and forth. Is um probably sensible. So we know it isn't obsidian, we know it isn't, um, what's the other one we tried? Glowstone. So it could be regular stone, it could be cobblestone, it could be... Iron ore was a solution to a different puzzle, so it's probably not that. I don't think I have any iron ore. I think I turned it all into iron. 
Um, no, we could try that anyway. So, stone, cobblestone, iron ore. What other things could this possibly be? Gravel? I'm not sure where gravel is too useful for an adventurer, though. Um... There's the whole stone, diorite, andesite, granite family. I don't think it's any of those. None of those are really related to gold mining in any way. None of them are a similar colour. Um, that is not the right menu. Let's see. Endstone? Probably not. No, no. What other kinds of rock are there? Clay? It's not really rock. Stone brick. Magma. Quartz? But how is quartz? Can you pick up quartz all with gold? I'm not sure. But quartz could definitely be a thing to try, and we do have it in the inventory anyway, so why the heck not? Um... Sandstone is kind of... The closest colour to gold you can get out of different kinds of rock, I guess. But again, I'm not really sure how it uh, fits with that one. Well, we've got a few things to try. Let's throw them all down and see if any of them are correct. May as well try a few other kinds of stone as well, seeing as they're just. Uh, we have a couple of them just laying around. That one, that one, and that one. Those are all stone. We also want to try one of those. I guess one of these as well. Just try all of the stones, basically. Here's another one stone brick. I think stone brick and cracked stone brick are all kind of too similar for any of them to be uh, the answer because they... if one is accepted he's gonna have to accept all of them. I'm just picking up random stones. It could be mossy cobble. Indicative of dungeons but again I'm not sure how it fits the gold miner one. Um. Cobblestone, where is smooth stone? I made some at one point. I can't really remember why I made some, but I definitely remember making some. Yeah. What did I even need that for? Levers. I think I wanted to make levers. I think that's why I had, um... Those around. Well, here's a whole bunch of different types of stone. Concrete powder, I think, is too unlikely. Andesite. Basalt is probably not, because it's not a vanilla block anyway. Um, glass, sure, highly unlikely, but why not? Why not attempt it? Why not? Obsidian brick, again, why the heck not? Try everything and anything. Um, iron ore was the other thing I wanted to take. And as I thought, we do not actually have any. That's not too problematic. There's a whole bunch of it laying around in um, this cave.
can actually pick it up. Yeah, there's a bunch of extra resources in this map we never took in terms of diamond or iron or gold or coal or all of them really. Uh, what is going to be the quickest way back? It might actually be this one. Not sure whether it's quicker to go to um, Burnt Badlands teleporter or to this teleporter. I've never had to figure out which is closer. This is a change of scenery anyway from keep um all the times we've walked back from the other teleporter into this area. Could be magma blocks. I've heard they've changed those so that they, um, I don't know if this is a... Okay, you just wander off in the opposite direction. Or not. Or blow me up, sure. Why the heck not? I don't know if this is a 1.14 point blur change or a 1.15 change. I could test it right now and see which one it is, but I've heard that they have um, changed magma blocks so that they do not inherit the light level of nearby blocks anymore like they used to. Not sure why they made that change. It was an interesting feature. It wasn't the most useful feature in the uh, in the multiverse, but I'm not sure why they would just remove interesting features. I think of no reason why it should have been taken out at least. And all of my stuff has ended up all over the place. Give me things. Please, thank you. I just picked out all of these blocks. I do not want to go back and have to pick them all out again. Yeah. Let's see. So we put down a torch. Yeah. These do not appear to be inheriting the light level. They're not giving off any light, so I guess it's a 1.14.x change. Not a 1.15 one. I'm not, uh, yeah. Why would they remove that feature? I don't know. It doesn't make too much sense to me. But maybe they'll add it back in again, who knows. It doesn't make much sense to me. Um, coal block. Why not? We can try that one too. Try every block that ever existed, ever. Because one of them must be correct. Process of elimination. Hopefully it isn't one of the um, coloured concretes, because it may take a while to test every single one of those. Another thing I want to do in the spectator fly around is see uh, what block was used for the spikes. I think I can find that out from the uh, crafting menu, actually. Let me look that one up real quick as well. Where were they under? They were in here somewhere. 
though I'm not using a crafting table, so it's not going to show the full list right now. There's a crafting table I left down here, though. I do believe. Uh-huh. Yes, indeedy. Spikes are brown stained glass. That makes sense, because that is kind of what they do look like. So I guess the texture was just... Rotated 45 degrees somehow? Whatever, whatever, whatever. No. Let's try the more likely candidates first. Sandstone. No. Yoink. Uh, iron ore. No. Yoink. Uh, regular old plain stone. No. Um, cobblestone. Uh, no. This may be a lot of... Uh, mm, no. No. What else do I think is perhaps likely? Magma block? No. trying to think of how that makes any sense at all. How is... How is coal bad for gold miners? You need coal if you're a gold miner. How else are you going to smelt the coal? The co coal. How else are you going to smelt the gold? You need a fuel source, and it is going to be coal, probably. If you're in a mine collecting gold anyway, there is going to be coal around. I... I do not get how that one makes any sense. That is the first puzzle out of possibly two. I don't know what the solution for the maze went in yet is... I cannot speak. That is the first puzzle out of possibly two, because I don't know what the solution to the maze one is yet, where the solution has just completely baffled me, and I don't understand why the solution is what it is, but... Okay. We got there by process of elimination, and just trying a whole bunch of random stone-related blocks. These, um, random ones can all be dumped in any old random chest, by the way. Don't need to be carrying any of this uh, guff around anymore. Get it out the inventory. Okay, well. At least we didn't fumble at it for too long, because it is one of those puzzles where there is only a finite set of solutions. And you can pretty much try each and every single one of them. And then unlock none of the bonus content in the game because you've solved every puzzle with the lowest amount of picker outs that could be possibly awarded. And you'll get to see none of the um, concept art of Leighton with his fancy top hat. But never mind. Um, that, is, um, that, that is the way I played most of those. Oh well. I do do very much like puzzles, but I never claimed to be brilliant at them. I am decent, but I am not the greatest puzzle solver the land has ever seen. Hello teleporter, are you awake?
A bit of a delayed reaction with that one. Okay, we have Fleet. One last disc to go, and it is the Maze of Symbols. How many golden apples did we have unused at the end of the map? Almost a full stack of them. Fantastic. Well... Let's wander back over to the maze and then consult my notes slash scribblings on whiteboard. This is a pretty good song. Most uh, rhythmic. I like it already. Uh, we want to go in this direction. Apologies if I get slightly lost. This is a confusing area and it has been a while since we were last here. So. So this area ended up being about a third of all of the deaths in the entire map. Maybe we actually went the right way for once and didn't end up up there. That usually happened. Yeah, so this was 10.5 deaths. We ended all the primary objectives on 29. So, yeah. A third of the deaths from the entire map came from this area. And it's how many from the end? The fifth. Fifth from last. Just a little observation there. Okay. So, we have our maze full of symbols, we have our invisible walls here, there, and everywhere. Um, I have, if I can find it real quick... Somewhere over the rainbow... Where did I save it? This image! Uh, can I actually show it? The display capture, yes I can actually show it on the display capture. Um, here it is, we also have a 2D uh, map drawn out of the entire thing. Um, background, scribbly lines, 2D grid was actually sent to me by the Cottage Cheese and then I went in using the paint and drew a bunch of lines on it representing the walls. Um, the intended path through, and then all the dead ends. I'm not sure if this is going to actually be of too much help, but there it is. I actually did all the walls from memory as well, which is, um, how many times I've walked through this maze trying to solve this thing. I didn't even have to look at it to remember where all the walls were. But there we go, there is, uh, there is that. Okay, so we just have to figure out what we did wrong and why the order I have written on the board is incorrect. We want to do it from start to end. Cottage Cheese also had a theory that sequence might in some way be related to the number of ends on each symbol. Uh, that could actually be potentially possible. Hold on. Where's the old whiteboard pen? 
Let's write some numbers down based on the amount of ends each thing has. So if we do count the moon one as only having one end because the other end is broken, then moon with a broken end is one. Um, the circle with a dot in the middle is going to be zero ends. Um, the Z would be two. Three. This is the point where it gets a bit funny with three. Because none of them really have three. Three ends per se. Um, there is the uh, box with a line coming down from it, which is. You know, I guess that would be three, wouldn't it? That's three. Um, the second point where it gets a bit weird with that theory is the hourglass shaped one and the seesaw shaped one, which have triangular loops in them. So I'm not sure that would really work, and I also don't know where the lid for my whiteboard pen has gone. Because it fell off and clattered and fell somewhere. And I kind of need to find it before I dry out the entire... all of the ink in the pen. I kind of gone that far. Hello? Where did even... Where could it even have gone? Why am I looking under there? It wouldn't fit under there. Look at the post game. I BSM looks around his desk for a pen lid he's dropped. I didn't hear it fall on the floor. Well. Isn't of monumental importance, I suppose. I can look for it later. Let's continue writing numbers on the board. Um, so, how many ends does the seesaw with its little triangular loop count as? There's the cross with a line through it, which is one, two, three, four, five, six ends. Um, there's the tuning fork with a line through it, which is one, two, three, four, five ends. So those are all fair enough. So one of these is... I guess Seesaw could be four, theoretically, if you count the two points of the triangle down in the bottom left and bottom right as uh, corners. That could be four. Which I guess would have to make the hourglass one seven. I'm not sure how that would make much sense as seven, but it's the only number that we're missing in the sequence, so it would have to be. Yeah, that. Where in tarnation? Where did the damn whiteboard pen lid go? This is annoying. Could it possibly have ended up? That's a golf tee. There it is. It's literally sat on top of the keyboard. It's just the same black colour. I lifted the keyboard up. How the heck did it not fall off? Well. I'm. Like, 90% certain this is not going to be the correct solution, because it has nothing to do with the maze itself. It's just based solely upon the symbols. And I'm not sure how the hourglass one makes any sense with this sequence, but... It is a possibility. And so I shall try it. Zero! Moon with an end missing counts as one. Then two is the letter Z. Then three is the square with a line coming down it. Four is the seesaw. Five is a tuning fork with a line through it. Or man, or whatever I was calling that thing. 
cross with an extra line through it, and then the only other one that's left. Now, that was not it, as expected, but it is a bit of a funny coincidence how they all did kind of go in sequence, apart from the one with the hourglass. But we can discount that theory now. Scoreboard. Objectives. Uh, not objectives. The other one. Players. Uh, which one am I setting? Do I set it to zero or to one? I forget. Or is it even that? It is definitely that. What is the command to reset this puzzle manually? Uh, puzzle... I should have written this command down at the time. I knew I would need it again. Weren't there a couple of... Uh, couple of ones for this puzzle. Was it skill ward or was it just a function? I think it was a function, wasn't it? Yeah, it was one of these. Uh, more mechanics, puzzles, ozone reset, that was it. Okay. So now we've discounted the amount of ends on each symbol theory. Um, let me just try the very original one that I first came up with again. Don't imagine that anything in particular has changed which would make it correct when it was wrong previously, but I just want to try it again. Because this is still the sequence that makes the most sense to me. the order you arrive at the symbols at, tracking through the maze, naturally. But no, that is also wrong. So what other possibilities are there? And how long do I want to fumble at this thing for before I give up? Could just run back and forth through this thing over and over and over again, but hey, let's uh, let's use the image since we have it. Okay, so this thing is. Uh, what do I even use for this? Just use the pencil. Why not? This thing is. It's not right in that color. It's not. Right, like that either. That is far too thin. But it's still far too thin. That'll do. That is one, that is two, that is three, that is four, five, and sits away. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That is nine away. That is nine as well. That one over there is 10 away, 10, 11, 12, extremely squibbly writing. Trying to write with a mouse is not the easiest thing to do. 14, and I do not own, like, one of those pencily digital streamy things that you can actually do art on, because I am not very good at art, so I wouldn't ever use it. Um, this cell is also 15, this cell is 16 away, 17 away, 16 away, 17, 18, 19, 20, also 20, 21, 22, 21. So, uh, sits, I put down 5, but same difference. It's nine instead of eight. In fact, I think they're all off by one. 
Let's start with this being zero, and this being one. I must have done. It isn't going to make any difference to the overall sequence. That is still before that. And then that. Um, depends how you count this thing. Let's try... Yeah, the moon with a bit missing should definitely be before the circle, I think. Then the order they use is kind of weird as well. Let's try. Uh, Z cross with an extra line through it. Seesaw. Then hourglass. Then crescent moon with a bit missing. Then the square. Uh, with a line going down. Then the circle with a dot in it. And then the tuning fork with a line through it. I'm not sure if we tried that sequence previously because we tried several uh, similar different ones. But let's give it a go. How much ammunition do we have? 45. Also, close that. Okay. Attempt number whatever this is. Five or six, probably. Z. Cross with an extra line through it. It's seesaw. Hourglass. Present moon. Uh, box with line. Then circle. Then tuning fork with line. Still wrong. Let's try and. What other options still remain? Let's do the order you come across them again, but let me do it referencing this diagram rather than the uh, symbols on board. So it is going to be... Z, do we always start with the Zs? Why would we ever not start with the Zs? Um, then... It's going to be the same sequence for the first three. Cross with a line through it. Seesaw. And then hourglass. And then crescent. Uh, no. Let's go hourglass and then circle with dot. And then crescent moon. And then. Box with line. Tuning fork. Still wrong. Well, let me actually read this text again. Remember the mistakes from the start of the maze to the end of the maze in the form of dead ends. And the symbols on the floor at each dead end match up the symbols that we have. There's definitely something to do with the order that you encounter the dead ends in. The one thing that I am not certain about is entirely which order is required. Whether it's the number of steps from the beginning, whether it's relative to each other in the order you encounter them in,
like his crescent moon before circle with dot because it's less steps away from the entrance or is crescent circle with moon after circle with dot because you would take the turn off to reach circle with dot sooner than you would take the turn off to reach crescent moon This is the bit that I'm hung up upon. I'm fairly certain that the last two... Well, no, because circle with dot is 21 steps away and box with line is 20 steps away. But the last one has to be tuning fork with line through. The first three have to be Z and then cross with line through and then seesaw in that order. It's just the four in the middle. I am really not sure. I'm fairly certain that our glass also has to be last. I could just try all the possible permutations of circle with dot, crescent moon, and box with line in each possible order. Because there are only six possible ways that you can arrange that set of three. So that is brute forcible. Um, let's do that. Why not? I just have to write down which order we've tried them all in. So let me get my whiteboard rubber, which is right here. Clear out some space on the board. Okay. The first four, which are going to be common to each pattern, are going to be Z. Are going to be cross with line through it, seesaw, and hourglass. And then the last one is always going to be tuning fork with line through it. So we need to try. Circle with dot, crescent moon. Box with line through it. Circle with dot, box with line. Crescent moon, crescent moon. Box with line. Circle with dot, crescent moon, line. <coughs> crescent moon, circle with dot, box with line through it. And then, box with line through it. Circle with dot, crescent moon, box with line. Crescent moon, circle with dot. This must sound completely insane. 21 has just tuned in and has no idea what's going on. But never mind that. Okay. It's going to try every possible permutation and then tick them off the board once we've tried them and they're wrong. We are also running low on arrows, so we're probably going to have to punch these things. Okay, first four characters are common every sequence, and they are something like this. Okay, so let's try circle with dot, uh, crescent moon is all the way over here. Box with line. And tuning fork with line. The other weird thing is this one doesn't have the particles, so I have to manually come up and check whether the blocks are still present every time as well. Okay. Attempt one. Failure. Marked on board. Puzzle. Reset. Z cross with extra line through it. The other thing that does worry me slightly is how close these three are in the circle to each other. 
they are all directly adjacent. And it makes me think they might be wrong, but... If it was completely randomly generated, at which point in the circle each one of these are, it could very easily be three in a row. Humans tend to see non-random patterns even when there is true randomness. Be like order and making data out of things where no positive correlation even exists. Okay, sequence two, failure. Reset. Z, cross with line. Seesaw. Hourglass. Crescent moon. Box with line. Circle with dot. Tuning fork with line. Failure. Uh -uh. Reset. Z. Cross with line. Seesaw. Hourglass. Present moon. That was a horrific shot. Circle with dot. Box with line. Failed. Reset. Two more to go. That one. This one. The other one. The other other one. And then box with line. Circle with dot. Crescent moon. Tuning fork with line. Uh -uh. One more left. Z. That one. That one. That one. Box with line. That one, that one, that one, and still locked. Okay. Houston, we have a problem. This means that it cannot be in order of one how many steps away it is from the entrance. That no longer makes any sense. It can no longer be in order of which turn you encounter them. That no longer makes any sense. Because we have tried each possible permutation of this, this, and this. So either this one cannot be the one at the end, or these four aren't in the right order. And I'm not really sure how either of those situations really makes any sense. So, huh. Basically, huh. Uh, hmm. <laughs> the one final thing I want to try is 
the order I first thought it was backwards. Just in case it is for some reason reversed. So that is tuning fork first. Then I've rubbed out my original sequence now. Box with lime. Then moon with bit missing. Circle with dart. Hourglass. Seesaw. Cross with lime through it. It is also completely possible, of course, that the puzzle is just broken and doesn't work. But I'm not going to know that without looking at the command blocks and seeing what the actual solution is. Or looking at the function, I guess. It's probably inside of one of the function files and not actually in a row of command blocks. What is this? 2000 and... I don't know. What year was the year before functions were added? One of those. So... I don't know. Is the answer to this puzzle. I have tried everything I can think of. The last remaining strategy that I can think of would be to enter every single possible permutation of the eight things. We've covered six of them already. There are... how many other uh, ways are there to arrange a set of eight unique things? Lots. It's gonna be hundreds of possible permutations. It is going to be like that one time when that ending very, very last ultimate puzzle in Fez. Where people couldn't work out what the solution was, so a bunch of people just put together a spreadsheet and brute forced to the however many thousands of possible combinations there were until they found the one that works. I can't remember whether anybody actually managed to track back from knowing the solution, what how you worked out the solution ever was. Or whether... I think there's like one thing at the very, very, very end. Where there's a puzzle and people know how to solve it, but nobody knows how you work out how you solve it. At least in the proper way. I am faced with a similar situation, and admittedly there aren't quite as many things, quite as many options to try, but I also do not have the significant community of people and an Excel spreadsheet. So the only other option really available to me is to do a the method uh, by which Ver said they got in, and the method by which I demonstrated after doing it the legit way, um, it is possible to obtain second objective of the map, the foresty area. And that is to uh, get through the barrier with chorus fruit. Just spam a whole bunch of that until uh, it teleports you inside the barrier. That is the only option I can think of. That is extreme cheese, but isn't as extreme cheese as game mode creative.
Because frankly, I could sit there and bash my head against the wall for another how many hours that it takes, but I do not have time in this stream, and I want to move on and not spend hours and hours and hours on a random puzzle. When we have done literally everything else. It does feel slightly bad though, having solved all of the other puzzles in the map. Legit. Minus kind of the last one, which I also brute forced. But shh. It's fine. Hey, there's a random slime in my maze. Probably run through here blindfolded at this point. Traced through this maze so many times. Okay, let's just uh, let's get this final disc and be done with this thing. Let me in. Nope. Though apparently the box does have a ceiling and doesn't go right the way up to the roof. So that's uh, mildly interesting, I suppose. <laughs> okay then. Also, uh, slime is after me, apparently. Let me in! Give me access to the chest, please. Teleport me in the correct direction. The RNG does not like me. I know it's possible. All you gotta do is believe. Um... I guess it walked me through the floor. Oh. Okay. Oop. Fair enough, let's not do that again. Let me into the box. Come on. There are nine spaces where I could spawn in that box, on top of the chest and each of the adjacent squares. Including diagonals. It cannot be that tricky, surely. The odds are forever against my favour, apparently. Will we warp in the box, or will we run through this entire stack of chorus throat without anything? Of now we're all the way down here. But what the? At least I can find my way back to the maze quickly enough. Let me through. Let me in. The box is not filled with barriers because they said that they got into the box in this method, so. I know it is definitely possible. Unless they were lying to me. Which, I mean. I wouldn't put it completely past of it.
Hmm. Yeah, the odds are against me warping into that box with each go. But surely one of these has to let me in. Yeah, I don't know if that makes it more or less likely, but that may be a good call. That just walked me back to this side again. And down. And... No. No. Of course, once I get into the box, I also need to uh, walk back out of the box. So, if I have one left, or even a couple left, I kind of need to go and get more. Because I don't want to get stuck inside of the box, either. Let me in! Please let me in. Please. I, I beg of you. What is that? That is not a good staircase at all. Let me into the box, please. Please. There. There, why, why have you lied to me? Why is there no air inside of this box? It is just completely barriers, isn't it? There's no way in. This doesn't work. I do not believe you anymore. You have betrayed my trust. Come on. Come on. It's literally the last thing in the map is that chest. It is completely barriers. Well... You have lied to me there. It is not possible. This place is completely buried. There's no air in there. That is an airless box. Alright, well... Damn it, there. Game mode. Survival. The one last thing that is slightly less cheaty than, and I mean slightly, minusculely less cheaty than this game mode seeing this thing, is instead going options, resource packs, resource pack, folder, Minecraft, saves, horrify, data packs, and hold storage sits, data, US sits, functions, puzzles, ozone. Can we actually figure out from this file which order we're supposed to break stuff in? So there's a bunch of um, execute position if block equals blur bedrock blah blah unless entity is endstone run press crystal 
Replace bedrock. Yeah, I think I can work out from these coordinates which order I'm supposed to break stuff in. So. Reset. Now we've got to read off a whole bunch of numbers and press F3 a bunch. Okay. So we want the first block is seven two eight two six five three two eight two three two eight two is gonna be one of these one of these two and three two is gonna be I've got no idea. Neither of these really seems to be three two. Six five three two. Yeah, this one. So it's Z first. I would agree with that. Sixteen eighteen. So sixteen is gonna be one of the ones over here. 18, 16, 18. Cross with a line through it next. Yes, I also agree with that. 16, 98. This is going to be this one. Uh huh. I also agree with that. 284 is this one. Uh-huh. It's still going in the order I originally said it was. Then we've got 68, 98. Which is gonna be 68, 98, this one. So it is going to be in order of not the amount of spaces away from the entrance, but in order of turnings. That's fine. That's the order I originally went with as well. Circle with dot. Then it should be 0232. Whoops. Uh, 02 is going to be one of these. 32 is going to be... Yeah, this one. Then it is eight two eight four, which is not this one. This one eight two eight four. And then the last one that's left is this one over here. I'm fairly certain that is a sequence I originally tried. And that is definitely a sequence I tried this stream. Because that sequence is literally written up on my board with an X next to it. And that is literally reading from the function. It is in front of me. Here it is. I'm reading off this sequence of coordinates. Right here, this line. 8, 2, 16, 16, 0, 2. These two coordinates. So, unless I'm missing anything really stupidly obvious, And I think, because the reset isn't working properly either, this puzzle is just straight up bugged. It doesn't work. There is no solution. The valid solution doesn't do anything. So I could have, yeah, I could have been sat here for eternity. And I would not have found the solution. 
because it literally does not exist. Amazing. Well, I shall take my disc and I shall say good day to you, sir. And good day to you, sir. So yeah, maybe that was fixed in a later version. Maybe there's a more recent version where that's fixed. But at the moment, there, unless I'm exceedingly dumb, there is literally no solution because the correct solution doesn't work. Oh well. Um, well, with, um, with merit for trying to solve a puzzle that also has no solution. Map 100% complete, all primary objectives acquired, all secondaries, a little bit of cheating for that one, but I think it was necessary. All secondaries acquired. We went down to the final little bit of that last area, we know what is down there now, it is a diamond stick. Who knew? And we've also got all of the advancements apart from collecting all the heads. Shooting a skeleton from 64 blocks away and uh, poisoned with it that on fire at the same time. All of which are not particularly easy things to accomplish. So I think we're, uh, we're good enough. This is close enough to 100% for me. Let's take a little look at the statistics. Because why not? Damage dealt. Jumps. Fifty-eight and a half thousand of them. Damage resisted. Whatever that means. Sprinted 123 kilometers. Damage blocked 4,700. Played for a total of 1.74 days. 101 shulker boxes. Um, 7311 damage taken compared to 40,000 over damage dealt. There's all of that. There's your huge table of numbers that I will scroll through extremely quickly. Pause that on anything interesting if you want to. And all the mob kills, sits creepers. One Evoker, one Husk, three Magma Cubes, one Pigman, four Skeletons, two Strays, three Wither Skeletons, two Phantoms, and mm, fall damage a few times probably as well, but they're not on that list. What is the mob most killed? Probably Skeletons. 120 Creepers, 737 Skeletons. Add to that the uh, 106 strays, which are a very similar mob. And one off of 500 zombies. We don't have uh, too much time left to actually do the uh, spectator mode around, but let's um, have a little look, see if we can see anything else interesting. We can. Is there a random portal hidden away down here? Is your commander blocks for the disc advancements, probably. Okay, where does the portal go? Portal goes to... Place. Place with things and stuff.
and stuff and things and things and stuff. No, oh, no. Uh, uh, um, hmm. The amount of vocal complaining. I thought we were done. It turns out we clearly are not. Well, <clears throat> game mode survival and I also Trash all of my good gear trying to acquire a diamond stick. So that's fantastic. I need to re-gear again now for that. Oh no. It may be a bonus area for loot. It may be stupidly easy, seeing as it's accessible from directly after the first area, if you're cunning enough to actually find the thing. But it exists as two advancements on the advancement list. It is an entirely separate area. I feel extremely obligated to beat that. I can't say 100% of the map if there's an entire area which I haven't beaten. And I also don't particularly want to do the fly around before I have completed the entire map. Hmm. Well, hasn't this just gotten a bunch more complicated? I think I am going to have to end it here for now, because 15 minutes isn't enough time to re-gear and make any substantial progress into whatever the heck that is over there. So I think I will call it here for now, slightly early, that's fine. And then tomorrow, I'll get re-geared, and we can have a look at whatever the heck that is. This episode titling system was going so well, but now it is completely going to go out the window, because now there's... A PS, and now there's going to be like a 20 after a PS, which is an area in and of itself. And yeah, I know, I know. If you've found words, sentences, phrases, paragraphs, start again, try again, self. I know I'm not going to spoil everything if I do that area after I do the fly around because that's in an entirely different dimension, so I can't see it from flying around here. But I'm also going to want to do a fly around of that, and I think it would make sense to do everything at the same time. This really is the map that keeps on giving. I agree. And there is also a second reason why I have been considering putting the fly around off anyway. And I don't want to say anything too much else about why, because A, this is CTMC and nothing might not ever come of it, B, I am me and I don't know if anything will ever come of it, I don't want to make any exciting promises that I can't keep, and you might, might, maybe might be able to figure out what I am extremely cryptically going on about just by the context of this conversation, but I don't want to say anything more about it. 
and it would make sense to not do the fly around right now anyway if such a thing as I am talking about is possible and does happen. But for now and for today and for this evening that is going to be just about all the time that I have time for. Tomorrow we shall deal with whatever that is. Thursday I now have not the foggiest idea what I'm going to do. But we'll deal with that when we get to it. Thank you very much for watching! <laughs> I do indeed hope that you enjoyed. We shall return for whatever the heck that is tomorrow. And I shall see you soon. I hope you do at some point understand the extremely cryptic thing that I have to talk about extremely cryptically because I don't want to get anyone's hopes up that I'm going on about. I hope at some point there that does make sense. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. And I shall see you soon. Excuse me, I'm going to go and... I don't know what I'm going to go and do. Giggle insanely. And sob over in that corner, crying, probably. Uh... <laughs>